Hi, this is Dave with CamRanger. This is going to be a real quick video today showing you how to adjust the menu settings on the new Sony a7 IV to use with your CamRanger 2. Now we do have a full longer video of Sony setup that you can see in our YouTube channel, but the menus changed a little bit over time with the Sony's. So while all the settings are generally the same, the locations have often changed. So we're going to just show you real quick where to find those important settings and what to change them to. Okay, here we are in the menu system of the Sony a7 IV. Let's start in the shooting menu. Go to image quality. First thing to note is the CamRanger does not support displaying HEIF files. You can only do RAW or JPEG. So we'll set our switch here to JPEG. And now you have flexibility in what you use for image format, but generally we recommend shooting RAW plus JPEG, which is what we have set. And as far as JPEG quality, it's just whatever you want to display on your phone, tablet, or computer. Generally, small standard is plenty good resolution and quality, but makes the images much faster to appear. So we look good there. Now we'll go back and down to the old important network menu, and then go to transfer slash remote, and then PC remote function. Want to make sure the PC remote connection method is set to USB, which it is. And then we'll go up, go to PC remote, set it on. It gives us a warning that we can't change the USB connection mode. That's expected, not a problem. Now let's go down, look at the still image save destination. That indicates when tethered, where should the images be saved? And in this case, we want to send to PC plus camera, where PC is CamRanger. So we'll go to the CamRanger and the camera. We want the PC save image size to be the original. And then this setting is sort of interesting, the RAW plus JPEG PC save image. It means if you're shooting RAW plus JPEG, which formats should it send to the CamRanger? In this case, for the best possible performance, we want JPEG only. So you shoot RAW plus JPEG, RAW is saved to the cameras, JPEG sent to the CamRanger. And we'll go ahead and leave PC save JPEG size on large. So that was a quick overview of the settings on the Sony a7 IV that you need to change to connect to the CamRanger 2. Now there are other settings that may need to be adjusted depending on your situation. You can find full details of those on our website using the link down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.